On behalf of Kelly and myself, we'd just like to say thank you for all the outpouring of love and acknowledgement during this season of our life. And uh, as everybody knows, this past Friday, Friday week ago, we said goodbye to RG, 33 years of living. And uh, we just want to say thank you. We love you. Uh, he went home to be with the Lord in his sleep. And what do you think? All the text messages, the, the flowers, the plants, the food that everyone cooked, mm. um, the phone calls. Um, we did not know how many lives he touched. And um, we just praise the Lord that the Lord's getting glorified. And we just wanted to come and thank you all each and every one of you that you reached out or a hug or any little thing, even a prayer for us to give us strength at this time and peace in our heart that we know RG's okay now. We love you all and we did not realize how much a church family and the family of God means to us. And so our hope is that RG's story will just continue to bless people's lives and point them to the Heavenly Father. and. Um, It'll be all worth it for um, the gift that God gave us 33 years ago. So I don't think that words can say enough. I, let, let me put it this way. I think I'll put it best with many of you who said this. We don't know what to say right now other than we love you. And I think that's how we feel. We really don't know how to say it, but thank you. And uh, we do not take this lightly at all. And I think it's true. If God can be glorified through this, and if RG's life, love, can carry on. I'll end with this. A friend told me the other day that when RG died, when he passed, pureness died. Innocence. And it is true. He had just that pure love for the Lord. So Kelly and I would love nothing more than to extend a hug to you, virtual hug, just a thank you. And um, we're looking forward to what the Lord has for us in the days to come. And just pray for us as we pray for you and your prayers and your love have been felt. God bless you.